Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This report is for June the 1st. Where we're going to start off the month uh, pretty much where we began May, which was right about here uh, at the 83 level, just slightly above it. Um, kind of hedging back and forth. But again, uh, we're finally seeing for the first time a brief, of course, it's not really that significant yet because, of course, this is. Uh, holiday trade, just solely the European session, and it's not going to uh, necessarily be as relevant. So we'll have to see what uh, takes place. But if it continues on the path, then uh, we'd have our first crossover of uh, magenta below yellow on the MBI readings and potentially below 33, which would be uh, significant, particularly then we're also getting white over magenta. So could be an interesting start to June. Um, because that would, uh, well, like this setup here where we had the uh, white has been above on the NASDAQ for some time. It's just been a matter of waiting for that dip of magenta. Uh, of course, we already still have had cyan above. Uh, the saving grace here would be steel is rising on the NASDAQ, given that might be enough to provide some support uh, within the selling pressure that's building on there. Of course, the euro is maintaining its strength. Throughout, no shock there from a Bitcoin standpoint. Of course, we talked about this when it dipped, uh, you know, from the 60s and came all the way down to 34. And everyone was like, oh, you have to buy the dip. And then uh, every time we got to that 39 algo level right here, it kept warning that we were getting uh, the sell signals each time it happened with the spikes of the white. Um, can add another one that just took place right there. A little bit lower peak, um, but anything over around the 40 range, and this is at 40.9 for the white. Um, it was reasonable, and sure enough, uh, we went right back to the lows. But of course, when it got down there, we ended up with that magenta crossing back above at the same time of the buy signal, and that's put us back up to the 50% uh, mark for now. So, pretty straightforward, and it's so easy to identify it within this. Uh, it makes it uh, really easy to use. Uh, certainly, I was showing these same configurations within the um, 5K chart. Um, the slight difference being, uh, in this particular case, where we had the rising shakeout with green DOC uh, over. Um, but what's interesting about uh, these kind of setups is that even though you're if you had picked anywhere in between there, of course, with the rising uh, magenta, you really didn't get any signal until uh, literally the crossover right here was the first indication you had uh, an MBI weight that was only around 510. I prefer to have a little bit higher, of course, the next bar, um, slightly lower, but definitely more secure as far as that setup goes, uh, was the confirmation that was likely to lead that back down to that zero range. And so this was something we had marked with an expectation that we would reach the zero. The question at this point when we first saw it was, where would the zero be at that time? Um, when it dipped down to this level right here and bounced back up, uh, the zero level finally caught up to it by the time it was over here. So it was just a matter of waiting and it was to call day, but sure enough, boom, and we had several other uh, points of entry within that to still get to that same zero configuration. Of course, after hours that the pre-market opened uh, with the spike, but again, the spike took place under that white MBI, clearly above, uh, in fact, at what, uh, 4180? And sure enough, the expectation to the low there. So when you're thinking about it from these terms, 4180, uh, you're looking at 4209, you know that you're looking at at least the 0% range, so 4201, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to look at it and say, yeah, I got a potential eight or nine point uh, wing built into that setup. And uh, certainly in this case, it broke the lows. Um, but What's got down there, uh, we're still in a slight configuration of that with uh, the magenta was below. Now it's sort of uh, back and forth. Uh, this gets into that uh, little bit of an awkward uh, range where you sometimes have the magenta slightly above, below. Uh, what I'm looking for is the first pivot up of that magenta is the warning sign of uh, the turnaround. So until that happens, but uh, very effective. Another one that, um, I'll probably be laying out for you later is whenever you get the MBI uh, weight below uh, reading of about three and a half, uh, you also tend to get uh, at least a revisit to the close that took place 
uh, at that point. So in this case, it was the 42.12. So whenever you have a peak above it, you've got that as a pretty decent uh, marker. And uh, you can go back through history and look at that it's a fairly effective play. Uh, I'll put it together within a uh, dot configuration, uh, and uh, that will be part of the setup so that we'll be looking at for the future. But as always, though, keep updating the uh, PNT2A uh, for adjustments on that. But uh, all in all, looking pretty, uh, pretty good. We're just getting tighter. Um, the show this one. This happens to be some of the dot configurations, and just using. MBI DOC readings in combination to move further along on those peaks to notify us of the short. So the difference where we would typically get it, you know, pushing it back just a few bars and sometimes those extra couple of bars uh, can make a significant difference uh, from a price return standpoint, particularly after a rise um, that may have a mediocre dip and as opposed to getting it close to the end of that dip, uh, we'll be catching it a lot sooner and that's what these uh, gray dots are representing as well as the blue ones. So each little adjustment gives us uh, varying amplitude as to where we can uh, jump in a little bit earlier to uh, just capture a little bit more. As always though, I will continue to update you on the Skype chat. Uh, indicators for June will be out, so make sure you get your renewal in. Trade well, we'll talk in later.